Good night everyone and welcome back to the Nocturnal Corner with Bat and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different eventually going to get back to that epic weapon showcase but this one is going to be a subscriber requested video by a Tavi Capri don't worry Tavi I got you this is for you is going to be a modern day building guide for all you people that build like absolute jackasses and don't have a clue on what the hell you're doing maybe you're an experienced player with the mechanical know-how of a modern day feminist or a new little turd that's going to want some tips and tricks from your new boy here, Bat. So, going up is going to be this little question mark right here, where you can easily read and you'll have all these little tags right here that'll teach you all the know-how that you'll need. But, you probably graduated from college and you're most likely a liberal after you got out, so you probably graduated without actually knowing how to read or write. So, your auto book listening ass will probably need something else, but don't worry. I got you. So if you look down all the way at the bottom, we're going to have the auto assembly. This little doohickey here will give you an absolutely remarkable piece of shit. Let's see what we get here. Yep, an excellent combo for both long range and close range. And it's the same fingernail polish that all the modern day white women use. But hey, if you don't like that, we got the exposition. This is going to be a gallery of stuff that's made by other players that are way better than you. Most likely they're art builds, and those art builds are probably going to be better than your build, so hey, win-win! But if you don't like that, go up to the search icon, and you can type in anything. I'm going to type in imps, so that way we can see all of the imp weapons. Yep, there you go. And besides that, there's going to be all these little tags at the top. You have like new, like can build, like all, all this stuff, and you see author, power score. You can just click on whatever you want, so that way you can find the things that you want. And you'll be able to make things as wonderful as this. So there you go, guys. Just copy and paste somebody else's shit, because you're too fucking dumb to know how to build anyways. So, have a great night. Alright, alright guys, I'll try to show you guys a thing or two about building. You probably came here because you realized all the other things are like CNN and lying to you. All those other building guides? Yeah, straight bullshit. What, what'd you see? Cardboard ninja? Like you listening to a damn box about building? I don't think so. Let's go up here and see where he's wrong. He said this shit had too many frames. Like, I don't have a soundboard, but when I see this, I hear... Oh, this right here is peak performance, boys. That's good frames. This right here is a misogynistic, masculine piece of junk that we're going to go up here and upgrade real quick. And bam! Yes, queen! Yes! Slay! This is peak performance. This is frame perfection and an excellent starting point, my boys. Usually, that starting build you're not going to get so fortunate to be given a vehicle of perfection by the gods. Tarjo, if you didn't realize. So, you're probably coming here after getting so many L's and your ass completely kicked and wondering, hmm, so what do I do then if I don't have that? Hey, no worries, buddy. That's what I'm here for. You're going to be thinking of a certain few things before you actually go into combat. You got power score, the type of build you want, and then the type of playstyle you want. Alright, so think about all that. And yes, you could determine weapons and whatnot, but that kind of goes into what type of playstyle you want. And what I mean by that is if you want to be fast, close range, maybe you're thinking about rapid fire machine guns or shotguns. Or maybe you want to sit back with a somewhat light build or even a heavy build and you're going to want to do like long range assaults like you could use steel winds reapers cannons or maybe you could even try with a legendary heather oh wait whoa, 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 whoa. legendary <laughs> sorry guys i gotta i gotta remember <laughs> you're here looking for some advice so you're gonna be um yeah, you can be quick, you can be a medium, or you can be, um, what is that? Uh, another medium. Fantastic, everyone. And you're gonna have, um, close range machine gun that doesn't do shit. But no, this is perfect. This is you. This has your name all over it. So we're gonna be looking at a somewhat close medium range machine gun build today. Perfect. Don't worry, guys. I got you, I got you. So, 
starting off we're gonna be looking at our perfection right here and we're gonna try to figure out how to rebuild this beautiful piece of machinery because you're here you can't understand what exactly you're supposed to do in the build menu so it's gonna be right up here you see where it says battle where it says test drive it's going to be that B U I L D you're gonna either hold down that L2 to go all the way up or you can just click on it and it'll be a little bit faster now you're probably wondering to yourself but that I don't have an L2 on my controller, or bat. I don't have an L2 on my mouse. Whatever shall I do? Well, my suggestion is figure it the fuck out. I don't know. I don't play that shit. Dumbass. I don't know why the fuck you're here, stupid. So, giving that advice, remember every button layout is for PlayStation. But feel free to keep in so you can figure out how to make a perfection build to actually do something in PC and Xbox as well. Okay, guys? Giving you a little bit of a wink there. So, since we're going to be getting rid of our bit here, you gotta have the knowledge on which buttons to press to actually start removing the parts. So Square is going to remove pieces singularly, as you can see here. And if you want to just get rid of all of it, you can just press R3 or the right joystick and it's going to ask you if you want to dissemble it. Obviously you're going to say yes, but not for this build, for the build that you already have in your garage. Take a good hard look at that and realize, yeah, you might want to get rid of that. That's why you're here. And just in case you feel like you made a mistake, you can hit L1 and it'll slowly bring everything back, like so. Just keep hitting L1 and everything will come back to you as so. However, we are getting rid of it. And just in case you're an idiot and you hit the other button, I just want you to realize that's how you lift your car. Okay? Yeah. Just like that. A little bit of a humpy hump just for you. So let's get rid of it. And now I'm going to be showing you how to rebuild it. But first, we're going to be looking at the camera. So the left joystick is how you move in and out, and it's also how you strafe. The right joystick is how you actually turn and maneuver your camera. So you know it's going to go hand in hand. So say you want to go here to the white spot, you're going to zoom in with the left, and you're going to move around with your right. Ew. Oh, look, the white spot. Mm. Looking that up more than an OnlyFans girl. Alright, let's go into our next one. You're gonna see a big ass pad on your controller. If you don't see that big ass little pad that you have on the center of your controller, put down your controller, delete cross out, because I don't want to see your stupid ass, because you're probably the dude that gets killed in the first 30 seconds. And then go seek some medical help, okay? Thank you. So that's gonna be how we're gonna go into our storage, just hitting that big pad. And now you're gonna have the multiple categories right here. These are your different rarities. This is how, if you want something specific, so say you want this hot red and you don't see it, bam, now you're in the epics, and there it is. Or you can get rid of all of them, and you have everything to your heart's content. So let's go down through these categories. You got base, you got weapons, you got hardware, you got movement parts, you got structural parts, you got decor, you got customization, and then you have all. So right now, this is all. It's going to give you basically everything. But we're going to be starting with the base, which the base is going to be your cabins and frames. This is going to be the start of your build, and then you're going to slowly put these other ones in any basic, you know, you can just mix and match. You don't have to, like, you know, go from here to here to here. You could, like, go here to structural parts and then weapons, whatever. However, usually you're going to want to save decor and paints for last. But decor is questionably the most important part of the game. So, of course, you're going to want to save the most important part for last. So, let's go into our base. We're going to pick out our cabin and our frames. Usually, you want to pick out your frames first. And now, I'm going to teach you how to build the perfection build. So, starting out, we're going to get the frame 2x8. Alright, and something to take into consideration is there is two types of frames. You're going to have your lightweight frames, and you're going to have your regular frames. The regular frames, they're basically all going to be the same, you know, like points and everything. Uh, alignment reality will show you that, see, just like this, you hit to the left, and you can see all the connections. It's basically going to be the same for all of them. The only difference is these are going to be heavier with a lot more durability and mass, while the lightweight frames, or if you're really struggling with some mass limit, you can put on the lightweight frames to 
take up you know some of that mass off of you however if you start getting hit in those frames just remember that they're going to be a lot less durable than these regular ones so we're going to be putting that one in the front which is going to be towards the door bam next up we want is the 2x4 and remember these can't rotate vertically they can only rotate to the you know horizontally and the way you do that is you're going to be hitting r2 okay pew, pew. now you saw what i just did there i somehow picked up another one of these without going into the storage well basically you're just going to hit copy part bam look at that easy peasy just hit triangle and you'll copy these parts so now you're going to want to offset it just like so that little yellow marker is letting you know that that part can connect if you have it over here you can see it's not connected to anything so now we're going to need our last part which is going to be the 8x4 this is going to be right there in the back so now we got our frames all good next up is we're going to want our growl cabin and hey where is it there's so many damn parts just remember, you can hit the rare, and boom, growl cabin, right off the way. Remember, it's a little offset right there in the front. Okay? So now that we've got that far, we're going to be going to our weapons. And because it's you, there you go. Perfection. We're going to put our little cord there, and our two hornets. You bitch, don't tell me got no well points i damn no i ain't got no well points now you see they're red right basically if something is unmounted to your vehicle it'll be in this red color you don't have to worry about your paint because the whole thing will be red and when you paint your vehicle you'll you notice not everything will turn red so don't worry now if something is unwelded you can't start the game or basically do anything you'll be stuck until you pick a different build or until you fix this build so keep that in mind so now that we got our weapon choices, let's get out of this. We're going to go to our modules. Remember, you don't have to do it in this order. It's whatever you're comfortable with. So since we're doing a little build just to help you guys out, we're going to be getting coolers and radiators. Because this weapon is a cooling weapon. So machine guns, shotguns, auto cannons, they're all going to be basically overheating as you fire so you're gonna want coolers which coolers are going to cool down the rate so when they are overheated they'll come down faster so you can get back to shooting while the radiators make it so it takes a little bit longer for you to actually overheat so we're gonna get two of each like so okay perfect so now that we got that I'm going to tell you about the next important part that usually you're going to see on every build. And usually you're going to have the big G, this is going to be your starter one, and you're going to get this one from the Lunatic Faction. This is only going to give you one energy point, okay? Or try to remember that. The next ones up is going to be the Ampery and the one that looks like a fucking pancake. We... You're basically not going to get these ones for a little bit. This is probably going to be the earliest one you can get. And from here, there's not a special one in the Lunatics. This is going to be like Nomad or Scavengers. So we're going to be getting the Gas Gen from the Lunatics. But you're probably not going to have that one for a while. But I'm going to put this one down just in case. Because this is going to be the one that you desperately want this gas gen is amazing it'll give you three points of energy and it is just phenomenal and it's not a dlc thing you can actually build it so go for the gas gen and since we have three points of energy if you look right here at energy points you see you only have 11 points of energy that 11 points is going to be based on your cabin since we got the ground cabin which is a light cabin it is giving us 11 points of energy not all the other cabins will do that unless they're in the more epic or legendary category and usually those will give you 12 unless it's a heavy cabin which will only give you 11 max so now that we got that let's get our gas gen back bam so now we got 14 points of energy so what should we do with that? 
well, that's basically up to you. However, try to keep this in mind, there is also engines, and engines will basically give you a bunch of perks to your build. It'll give you mass limit, it'll give you vehicle speed, it'll give you cabin power, and if you get things like the Cheetah, this one gives you tonnage. So the Cheetah's pretty good when it comes to that. I don't really think any of the other ones give you tonnage besides that one. I don't even think the legendary one does. Nope. What about the oppressor? Ah, so there we go. The, the oppressor and the cheater are the only two that will give you tonnage. Actually, no, nope, not even that one. So if you're really in need of tonnage and you just can't fit any more wheels, these are the ones to go. However, you don't have that, let's be honest. You're going to get a little hardcore. And since you have the hardcore and you're in luck, this one will not cost you any energy points. The hardcore and the hot red are the only two that do not require any energy, but will give you a little bit less bonus compared to the other engines, so keep that in mind. And you can see we are now at 109 speed, thanks to our little hardcore buddy here. So, we still got four points of energy, and we might be able to pass on that. You might not even need that, but it's always good to have energy because energy lets you charge your phone. It lets you plug in your cigarette lighter. So remember, you always want to leave like at least one energy point off or more so that way you can charge all your devices and even turn on your lights in your car and whatnot. So keep that in mind. So now that we got that, we can put a listener or whatever, but you're probably going to want the ruby because the ruby also doesn't take any energy points. So if it's the regular radar like so, they will not need any energy. And the ruby is probably the only one that you can afford. If you want to get the ones that see through walls, tough shit, you don't have it, so I'm not going to explain anything to you besides that those need energy. Now, let's take a look at these little machine guns. When, what do we know about machine guns, right? See that? That little thing right here? That's a bullet belt. So common sense tells you that it needs ammunition. Because look at that little box. You know, it's a machine gun. It shoots kind of fast. This little box, what, like a like a hundred, no, maybe like around 200 rounds. Since, you know, it's going gene, 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 all the way through it. So you're going to need some rather important things. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need ammo. And the more ammo, the more better. So let's get down some of these little ammo crates. And you know what? Just because I want to have maximum ammo, I'm going to use a purple ammo crate, which you get from the scavengers. You guys are not going to have this because you suck. But you're probably going to get these little blue ones. These little blue ones are going to have, like, no durability, while these ones are actually pretty tanky. But you got to remember, these things will blow up if hit, even if they only have machine gun ammo in them. So now that we got that, that's great. But, damn, wait a minute. You're going to have to reload your weapon. And guess what? There's a reloading thing right here. Guys, it's right here. It's the flywheel or the discharger. You're probably going to have the discharger because you suck. But, actually, you probably won't even have that. Tough shit, guys. Because I think those are battle pass things. But you know what? Just for you, I'm going to put that down there. So that way we can reload our machine guns pretty quickly, okay? So, what do we got now? I think we're pretty good for now. I think we got the build we want. We could put the little... You know what? We're going to put a scope in there just in case. And they did buff the scope so these don't cost any energy. So what the heck? You got all the essentials. So now that we got all the essentials here... Bitch, what do you think you're doing? You're telling me I'm stupid. So now we're going to go to our movement parts, and of course, the gods have already given us our strongest things, and those are going to be the chain wheels. So we're going to take our chain wheel, we're going to put it in the exact place that it wants us. See that? Now, you got to keep in mind, wheels only mount to frames. You can't, like, you can't just throw it anywhere, you hear what I'm saying? You got to have the room for it, so you, mm, yep. so you might be able to put one in there if you have the room, but... It's going to have to mount to frames, otherwise you can put no wheel on there. And the difference between the steering wheel and the regular is basically the steering wheel is going to be the one that's going to help you to turn the most. You can actually turn with no steering wheels, but it's going to you're basically going to be turning like if you're a semi-truck. Actually, I think worse than that. So make sure you have steering wheels, don't be an idiot. Alright, here we go. And also the other benefit to having the non-steering wheels is basically these are going to give you better tonnage. You see that? Oh, and they take less cabin power. So just try to keep that in mind. If you're struggling with mass, 
maybe take off some of your steering wheels and put some just non-steering wheels to actually help carry all that. So now that we have all that, let's start putting our modules in there so we can decide how to put our armor. So we're going to want to make sure that this is connected to our cabin because it just makes sense. It's the engine. You want to have your engine connected to your cabin so that way you get all that beautiful engine points. Because I mean, come on, you've seen a car. It's always in the front. Next, we're going to put our generator in the back like so. It's going to be... Uh, hold on. I'm going to put it like that. Oh, you saw what I just did there? I don't want to forget. Now you can actually use L2 and you can rotate it like so. Or, see, you can turn it horizontal with the R2 and you can turn it vertical with the L2. So let's put that right here. Bam. Perfect. So now that we got that back there, and I'm sure we all know we don't want them hitting our generator, or our ammo boxes, or anything. So we're going to put this right in the back of our car. Actually, since these are less durable, and they're most likely going to pop off, let's put our more armored ones in the back, connected to our generators, to actually give our generators some protection. There we go, and now we'll put the less armored ones right in front of that one, so that way, in case these pop off, we'll still have the better armor. There we go. Perfect. So now we got our radiators and our coolers. Obviously, you want to have the radiators connected to the engine. So that way, so that way you don't overheat, you know? Because I don't know about you guys. I, I don't want to, like, buy coolant every week. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have it like that. Now the coolers, these are more sp specifically for the weapons. So let's put that right on the side of the vehicle. This will also help keep your engine cool so you're not overheating. Because cross out is mainly wasteland in the desert, guys. So you want to keep that in mind. So now that we got this, we're going to put this up here. Because we're going to put it close to our weapons, so that way, when our weapons need to reload, this little discharger thing will actually reload our weapons, okay? You don't have to worry about putting the ammo boxes. For whatever reason, the ammo boxes don't need to be close to those. And then, you know, this shit doesn't really matter. We'll put it back here. That's usually where people put it. So now that we got all that done, our weapons are going to be a little bit propped up, so we're going to put this little scope right on top of the, uh, the engine, since our weapons are going to be, like, right on top of these, okay? Alright, great. So now we're going to need some armor pieces. So let's see. Oh, right here. Perfect. Has durability, and look at all those damage resistance. This thing has 5% ballistic, 5% blast, and 10% thermal. Like, guys, let's be honest. All three of those is what you're basically going to be fighting. Cannons, grenades, missiles, blast. Thermal, you're going to get hit by a dog eventually. Might as well put some thermal damage. And then ballistic, well, you know, shotguns, machine guns, whatnot. So this is perfect. This is giving you everything. We're going to put this right on our coolers with our machine guns so that way our machine guns can get cooled down like so. And of course we're going to have it close to the discharger so that way when they need to reload, they'll, they'll reload for us. Alright, let's get another one of those graders and put it in between both. This one obviously is going to cool down faster than both of the Hornets because it's between both of the coolers. Perfect. So now that we have our build set up like how we want, we're going to put some armor. And you have to remember, each one of these armors has different mass, different, like, you know, durabilities and whatnot. But you can tell. Look how heavy. 196? This is a light build, guys. This is a light build. So you're not going to have a whole lot of, you know weight that you can put behind it and then again you're probably going to be in the engineer faction because you're too lazy to grind so you're probably going to have to use all these little light things so let's put all of these together like so cover up our engine so that way if they shoot our engine we don't stall out or lose coolant or you know motor fluid and all that other crap maybe we'll even lose blinker fluid and that's not good because we need our blinkers so that way when we're turning our our teammates don't just drive right in behind us you know what i'm saying so now that we got some armor pieces let's put a little bit more there you go now that we got some armor in there, we're going to be looking at the most important part, and it's going to be the decor items, and I call these the most important because look, 
durability and since these are durability they come with another a little something extra increases reputation gain by four percent this means when you're in the engineer faction and I guess you could say if you're in another faction, but you're not a level 10 yet, you loser. So this will help you level up your engineers faster so you can get a better faction with better weapons. And since it has armor, guess what you can do? You can use his armor. Perfect. So let's get a few of these bad boys in here. Oh, look, tank tracks. Dude, that's great armor. Let's put some of those on there. You know, that's just solid steel. You know what I'm saying? I think we got a third one, don't we? Yes! Dude, that's perfect. Solid steel, just like the Germans and Russians and all of them that were putting tank tracks on the side of their vehicles. Oh, wheels? Mm, that could be pretty good armor. That's <gasps> Bigfoot wheels? I mean, I'm sure you don't have these, but dude, this would be great armor. We could put like some right here. Let's see, let's see. Right here, perfect. Oh, look, great. These are, this is great. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be like a, when they ram us or whatever, we'll have that special little things like, or if they shoot missiles at us, it's gonna be just like the Americans. It's gonna hit the grate, the missile is gonna explode, and it's not gonna go through and hit our crew in the inside. Perfect. Perfect. Yep, let's put some of that right there, just just to get rid of all those pesky missiles. So you see, this is very strategic, guys. You gotta you gotta really know what you're doing so you can be strategic about your building. You know what I'm saying? All right, now that we got our RPG defenses, you know, you, look, it's the cross out. You know, you want to help the environment. You know, climate activists are still there trying to block traffic even in the apocalypse so gotta make let them know that you are with the trees perfect oh crap i might not be able to put the tree you know what we're gonna skip the tree we're gonna skip the tree it's okay and we got ducks you know we could put some ducks on there and the vegans will leave us alone because they'll think that we're anti-farms so you know we'll have some ducks on there to support the animals all right so I think we're pretty good. Oh, wait, we might need, you know, society is dead. So we might need some, you know, some lights so that way we can actually see where we're going. It, nobody's going to judge you on how your lights look. Everybody's basically dead. So let's, let's get some lights on there. Oh, wait, I don't want it like that. I'll block my scope. Yep, make sure you don't block your scope, guys. If you block your scope, then you can, what are you going to do? You can't see no more. Because, I mean, look, you're going to need the scope because your cabin's right here. And your dude's probably going to be in there blind as hell because this big-ass scope's in the way. So what he's going to need, he's going to need the scope. So now that we are pleasing the vegans, pleasing the vegan activists, we got some armor on there. We're getting reputation. We got our best guns on there. And then we have all of our stuff so nicely neat in the back and protected by some big-ass wheels and everything. This thing is pretty solid. But, hey, just before we go... You know, you gotta paint it. And in this one, the customization is just basically paints. And what would be a good paint? What would be a good paint? Mm, oh, lollipop, of course. Ah, you gotta remember we're transgender. Perfect. So now, I am a black lesbian, guys. This is great. This is great. This is is perfection so this is how you're going to want to build and cross out you're going to want to put all your armor bits on the side you want to make sure they have all your pieces you're going to want to make sure you watch out for those pesky missiles you're going to want to have your wheels on there your armor your you're going to watch out for the climate activists. You're going to watch out for the vegans. You're going to watch out for the government and show them that you are left. This is perfect. Nobody's going to come at you. The police are not going to come ring on your doorbell. And you know what? If anybody says anything, you can give them this as a bribe. And if you don't know what I'm talking about... Perfect. Like... Honestly, the enemy's probably not even going to want to mess with us because we're just going to throw money at them and insta-win, guys. Let's check out the damage on this beast. Oh. Look, you see, look, you saw that? With our reloading module and our coolers and our radiators, look how long we can shoot this thing. And look, instantly back, guys. And it already reloaded our bullets and everything. This is perfect. 
And you, what do you see on there? Are those barrels red hot? Are they red hot? Nope. Those builds, this build is perfect. And if you don't know what I mean by the barrels not red hot, it's basically, so say we take that off and we put like a minigun or whatever right there and we don't have our coolers, you'll notice that the barrels will get red. And, you know, we don't want that. Because that means you're going to have to get out of your car and you're going to have to exchange that barrel. And it's the apocalypse, so I don't know if you have gloves. Because if you touch a red hot barrel, that's going to really hurt, guys. It's, it's not going to be fun. But this is her. Perfection. I hope that you learned a thing or two about this, but just in case you think, you know, you're, you're questioning it a little bit, I'm going to take it into battle just for you. Starting into our first match. This is going to be great. Let's make sure we turn on our lights, you know, because, you know, it's getting, the sun's going down a little bit. We want to follow the rules of the road. So let's see, uh, we got our teammates here. Here, I'm going to give this guy some money. This is going to be the guy we protect. Yeah, we're going to give him some money so that way he'll protect us. Because you know every player is going to be better than us, so... You're going to want to have a little bit of a guard. Ooh. Let's go get him, bro. Let's go get him. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's behind us. Don't want to be a ratard. Remember, guys, don't be a ratard. Here, here we go. <gasps> we got him. We blew him up. Adam. Yeah, Adam. Oh, fuck. Adam's scary. Ah, come on. Kill him. Kill him. Die, Adam. Die, Adam. Oh, yeah. See? He helped our team. This build's perfect. Oh, shit. We need to get back to our team. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. This is battle number 10. I'm trying not to lose hope yet. But, uh, look, we lost nine other times. I get it. But this is going to be it. This is going to be the game. And I'm telling you, I think the strategy of just throwing money at our team is going to eventually work. Oh, shit, it's Kate. Look, money, money, money. Um... Uh. You know, you know what? M maybe, just maybe, uh, Crossed Out is a sorry sack of shit game, and I, I I'm just wasting my goddamn time here. Battle number 35 with this build. Uh, uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep throwing money at our team to hope that they actually help us this time, you know, because uh, I'm getting a little worn out, guys. Uh, I haven't won a single game today. Oh, crap, I don't want to forget to turn on my lights. You know, it's a little dark outside. But, uh, you know, we're gonna get a victory. We're gonna get a victory. This is 
battle. I have a good feeling about battle number 35. Okay, let's help with Sarah. I think our teammate has that other guy. Yep, yeah, god damn it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think we can get rid of... <gasps> this is it, this is it. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, finally. Okay, no, 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 no. Ignore that, guys. This build's perfect, I'm telling you. Okay, so we're going in. We're gonna go with Cool Killer. Cool Killer is just mopping them up, guys. Get him, Cool Killer. You see, this is why we gotta support our teammates. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Take it out. Yeah. <gasps> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, yes! Self-destructing. Don't. Oh. Okay. Last guy. Last guy. <sighs> Finally. Okay, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for our building tutorial today. I hope you learned something from this one with your tips and tricks from your boy Ben. So, it was nice getting to hang out with you guys again. I it was a pleasure making this video for you guys. And you know. If you actually did learn something from this, maybe you could leave a like and subscribe for me, because I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, this one's for you, Tabby. You guys have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.